Hey everyone, it's Amanda. Welcome back to my channel. Now, I know that a lot of you guys have started your bullet journal or your planner for the new year for 2018 and hopefully it's going well for you. I've been getting some messages saying that you guys have been having fun, getting organized and getting a fresh start, so I'm really happy to hear that. So since we're all just fresh off of that new year high of organization, I thought it would be the perfect timing to do a new year bullet journal spread ideas video. So that's what today's video is going to be I'll show you a couple different spreads that are perfect for the beginning of the year just to get yourself in the right mindset for the next 12 months. This week I'd like to thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video and supporting my channel. I know a lot of you guys, like myself, have New Year's resolutions to learn new things and learn new skills for 2018, so you can definitely do that on their learning platform that has thousands and thousands of classes. I actually have a really special New Year's deal that I'll tell you guys more about at the end of this video, but without further ado, let's just get right into this video. Alright, so starting off with the first spread, this is the 2018 goals page. I actually did a version of this in my very own 2018 bullet journal setup, which you guys saw if you watched my setup video. Pretty self-explanatory. I'm sure a lot of you guys set goals and New Year's resolutions at the beginning of the year, so this spread is just meant for you to keep track of all of those goals. As you can see, I sectioned off the page into different categories so that I can separate all of my goals. I have fitness, wellness, work, school, productivity, but you can do whatever categories work the best for your lifestyle. Personally, I really like separating my goals into different categories so that I can really focus on major things for each facet of my life and I find it very, very effective. The page next to it that I'm doing right now is the 2018 bucket list page. Now this one is slightly different from the goals. I kind of categorize a bucket list as fun, quirky things that you just want to do this year. Maybe it's, you know, go skating or jump off a building. <laughs> Maybe not that crazy, but you guys get what I mean. This spread that I'm doing right now is a vision board, which is something that I have been meaning to get into, so I'm really excited to implement it into my bullet journal. And you basically just paste pictures of what you want your life to manifest this year, um, and it's a nice visual tool. I'm all about visualization and manifestation, so this vision board is going to be great once I paste all the pictures in. It's going to look really great. So this page is something that is more of an exercise. Again, you don't need to do all of these pages. I'm just showing you guys a couple different options. But as you can see, I wrote two lines. One says, leave it in 2017. And the next one says, bring it in 2018. So you're going to write down some things that you want to leave behind in 2017, all of the negative things, and then what you want to bring into the new year. So what you did well last year that you want to continue on long-winded way of explaining it but I hope it makes sense. You can either do a list or more of a journaling paragraph exercise. Okay so the page next to it, this is a cleaning schedule. I saw a spread similar to this on Pinterest and I thought it would be such a great idea. Ever since I moved into my own place I'm actually shocked at the amount of cleaning <laughs> that it requires to keep up so I found this really helpful. I'm sectioning off the page in to daily tasks, weekly tasks, bi-weekly tasks, monthly tasks, and then bi-annual tasks. Then as you can see, each box has the cleaning, small cleaning tasks that have to be done for that. For the weekly, I have, you know, dust, laundry, clean floors, and then I drew 52 circles next to it because there are 52 weeks. So then every single week that I do it, I'm going to fill in one of the circles. And then you do the same thing for the bi-weekly, monthly, and the other sections, except for bi-weekly you obviously do 26 circles, and then for monthly you do 12, one for each month. So obviously this looks really complicated and confusing, but it's really not. I think it's just a great way to keep track of all of the cleaning tasks that you have to do in your household. And you can come up with a different layout, but I thought this would be a nice hub for me to look at and make sure that I am keeping up to date with everything. Here's a, just an example of me filling in the circles. I color coded it, so for the weekly ones, um, each month is a different color, but you don't have to do that. My next spread idea is a savings goals tracker. So 
Um, I'm sure a lot of you guys set goals for saving money. Maybe you're saving up for a new camera, a phone, or a trip. But whatever it is that you're saving up for, you can check it in your bullet journal by doing this kind of thermometer level type thing. So I wrote out a couple of goals. They're not my actual goals that I'm saving up for. I don't think a car is in my near future. Not quite yet, but then I'm putting the total amount at the top and then filling in the lines with the amount so that it's a scale. And then as you save your money, you can color in the different sections of the scale so you can see how much you have been saving. I feel like money is always a tricky thing to handle, so putting it down on paper is always a great way to keep yourself accountable for saving and encourage yourself to save more. Next spread idea is a health tracker. Now this is something that is very personal to everyone. Everyone's gonna have something different, have different goals in mind. I personally don't do a lot of health trackers in my bullet journal, but I know that for a lot of people, the new year is a great time to get a fresh start on maybe a weight loss journey, maybe working out more. So I wanted to do a couple of ideas that might help you out. These aren't fully detailed and fully formed spreads. I just wanted to throw a couple brainstorm ideas out there. So the first one is a weight loss tracker. Maybe you have a goal that you want to lose a certain amount of weight. So you can do that by either tracking your weight month by month or filling in a box or circle every time you lose a certain amount of weight. Next one, you can do diet and meal plan where you write out your meal plans for the week. You can also do a workout planner. As you can see, I have done a little calendar where I outline which days I wanna do abs, legs, arms, cardio, that type of thing. Or you can do more of a tracker style where you fill in circles or boxes depending on when you actually work out. Another thing you can do is more of a graph layout. This is applicable to workouts, weight loss, depends on what you want to track. You can do either a line or a bar graph. And then finally, you can outline your workout routine. I always find it hard to keep track of how many reps and sets I need to do for a circuit, so it's a good idea to write it all down in one place. There are a ton of different ways that you can do health trackers. This is why I didn't really create set spreads to show you because it's gonna be very different for everyone. Anyways, here are all of my New Year's bullet journal spread ideas. Hopefully you guys find something you like. All right, everyone, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I wanted to take a little bit of time to talk more about Skillshare. I'm sure a lot of you guys know about Skillshare already because I've been a longtime fan and advocate of their platform. It's such a great website. If you don't know what it is, it's an online learning community with thousands and thousands of classes in photo, design, illustration, you name it, they have a class for it. And there is even a class by yours truly. Yes, that's right. I have my own Skillshare class all about creative planning. Premium membership gives you unlimited access to all of the classes on their platform so you can learn about a broad variety of topics. So great for the new year. I personally actually started out learning calligraphy and hand lettering on their website and now I'm learning about animation. It's also actually one of the more affordable learning platforms out there. Annual membership starts as low as $10 a month. But since it's the New Year's and Skillshare wants you guys to get a jump start in your 2018 learning, there is a special New Year's deal for you guys where you can get the first three months for only 99 cents. The deal is only available till the end of January, so I definitely recommend you guys check it out and get the deal while you still can. But anyways, thank you again to Skillshare for supporting the channel. You guys know the deal. Subscribe for new videos. Check out my Instagram at AmandaHDoodles if you want more inspiration. Love you guys. Keep doodling and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye everyone.